Hello there. Are you ashamed of your scars? The story in the Bible about Jesus after he was hung on the cross, he had nails put into his hands, he had a spear pierced into his side, nails put into his feet, he was buried and he rose again. Then he appeared to some of his disciples. They met up with the other disciples and Thomas hadn't seen Jesus and they told him they told Thomas that Jesus rose again. But Thomas was doubtful. Thomas said, unless I can see where the nails went into his hand, unless I can see where the spear went into his side, I'm not going to believe it. Later on, Jesus came in. He called Thomas. Come here, Thomas. He said, Thomas, feel my hand. Feel the nail print in my hand. He said, Thomas, put your hand on my side. Feel the spear in my side. And Thomas said, Jesus, I believe that's you. Jesus responded, you believe because you have seen. But blessed are those who believe and haven't seen. Blessed are us who believe and haven't seen. You know, we've all been wounded in life. We've all had hurts. We've all had pains, we know. We've lost loved ones. We have loved ones with cancer. We've, we've been cheated on and betrayed. We've, some have been raped, gone through traumatic childhood incidents, been in abusive relationships. We've lost jobs. We've been lied on at work, lost jobs, been cheated, been defrauded, been rejected. We've all been hurt. We all have wounds. We all have wounds from the past. No one can escape that if you go through life. We all have wounds. Many of us have healed from some of the wounds. But even though we've healed, there's a scar left. There's a scar left. It doesn't hurt, but we still have the memory. Or it doesn't hurt as bad all the time. But we still have the memory. Many of us want to cover up our scars, put on a long sleeve shirt, put on a long, a long pants, cover up the scars. We want to pretend that everything is perfect. Had that picture perfect family, in that picture perfect house, got the perfect kids, going to the right school, driving the right car living a great life, nothing bad happens into our house because we got faith. We don't show our scars. You know, the interesting thing is if Jesus had healed himself, if he had healed himself completely, Thomas wouldn't have believed that that was Jesus. Thomas only believed it was Jesus because he still had the wounds. He still had the scars. If he didn't have the wounds, he wouldn't have believed that it was Jesus. You know, we have some people in our lives that need to see our scars in order to believe. They need to see our scars and see what we've been through in order to believe that they can make it through themselves, in order to believe that it was Jesus that got you through. There's some people that what you've gone through will help them, but only if they see your scars. They see your scars and they say, I can get through alcoholism too. I can live in the aftermath of an abusive relationship too. I can overcome pornography too. They see your wounds and it encourages them. So don't hide your scars. Wear them as a medal of honor. Don't hide your scars.